Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Where last time we set up our first massive oil production area. Let's turn an oil into hydrogen and these green rocks. And all of these things, we're burning! Because everything can burn, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, we have to get rid of it, or else everything will back up and the whole system will crash, so everything burns. Like the new world we just colonized, Kappa Delphini 1, which is now the second world we've colonized in our solar system. And over here, we've made a small little beast that's getting us a ton of titanium. Only problem is, we literally have to fly all of this to and from our home world, and that's getting old. So today our goal is to dive deeper into the tech tree, unlock interstellar logistics, and yellow science, so that we can automate our solar system, and then the galaxy. So remember to leave a like, and let's get going. Because we have an absolute insane amount of stuff to do today. Because to get the science matrix here, we're gonna need this, the high strength crystal, which takes those green rocks and titanium, then, we're gonna also need just a billion things for the interstellar logistics. We need the station, which requires this station, the planetary logistics station, which means we're getting into drones, titanium alloy, and grape soda. Look, it's a particle container that holds purple. Grape soda is a container holding purple. Same thing, right? No, because this thing requires also graphene. And the graphene we can already build, but guess what? It needs sulfuric acid and graphite. Meaning, that's where we have to start. Double meaning, we have to expand our oil system in order to make da -da 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 sulfuric acid. But in the meantime, what we can do is we can make those titanium crystal things. Because we have all these green rocks and they're just going in the dumpster here. So let's get this research, build a temporary little setup, and we'll just let this run until we get yellow science. Which is gonna be a while because we gotta double our oil system. So we're gonna make another four rows of these refineries just over here, and they're all gonna be for the sulfuric acid. Again, that tech tree stuff, the high strength titanium, needs eight sulfuric acid, aka a ton. So pretty much all the rest of our oil is gonna go towards that big project. And then for the sulfuric acid, go. We need water, refined oil, and rocks. So you just have to burn the hydrogen and grab some rocks and water. Okay. It'll be a little time consuming, but pretty straightforward. Should be done in about a boop. AKA no time at all. So, systems all built here, copied exactly the same, except the hydrogen is gonna scoot on this line over to this direction. <laughs> We have a huge storage bank for the excess stuff, and the rest is gonna be burnt off in all of the burners here. My worry is they won't keep up, so that's why we have the storage tanks, and if the storage tanks fill up, then <laughs> panic. Ugh, well that's only a small issue. The big issue is gonna be with the chemical plants, because I got a bad idea. I got a really, really bad idea. So we need the three resources, right? But then there's the output. But as you can see, there's the three lines. Well, here's the plan. I wanted to make this look good, so I wanted to build the machines right in front like this. But I could only fit the three lines in between, so we're gonna have one for water, one for rocks, and then this line, the Mark II line, is going to have both the input of the refined oil and the output of the sulfuric acid. At least that's the plan. I'm thinking if all the oil comes through here, it should get replaced by the acid, and because this line is so quick, you won't have a problem. And I think we have too much capacity here for any of the oil to make it to the end. But of course, if even a drop makes it through, that would be a literal disaster, so we have to plan for that. Oh, bud though, we have our favorite thing, the splitters, which will save us. Easy life, easy game. Just press tab. We're gonna get to this weird looking splitter and put it down right at the end here of each of the sulfur lines. So then we'll have a belt on the top row going this way. And this is gonna be the sulfur and it'll just like scoot over there. 
And then the oil will be on the bottom here. So it'll go that way. Then the only thing we have to do is set a filter to this so that, I don't know, this is for the acid. So all the acid will go in the top row over to the right. And then everything else, AKA just any extra refined oil, will come through here and be burned. Everything burns. It's the ultimate solution. <laughs> of course, big problem. If this backs up in any scenario, this is a bit of a disaster zone. So it could be spooky, but I'm just gonna play this out and hope it works. Oh, and aside from that, hopefully the built spaghetti works out. I wanted to bring all the items in here and hopefully we can split it all up. But we have everything here and we're gonna try to do that. So we got the stone, we got the graphite, and we have oil. Wait a second. I didn't grab any water. Scratch that, didn't grab it yet. There we go though. <laughs> now we actually have everything. And it's time for that spaghetti. So luckily we got a ton of space over here to do whatever we need to do. The problem's gonna be in here. This is pretty tight. But I think with the power of our splitty boys, we might be able to make something work. So if we split them up like this, or we have these belts on the ground. So I think we're gonna have to use this guy. Then if we have him here, I think this will work out. So we'll have the item go in the bottom. Then out of the top here, I'll go over the line and go down. Looking good, looking good. So now for the hard part, we need another one of these for the other items. Oh, we can have, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Might actually not be too difficult. We need to see how much space we can work with though. So we're gonna have four belts and split the four belts up. So say this is water, water will go there, water will go there, and then we have to get another splitter here for the stone. So stone will go to there and stone will go to there. That means we have four lines coming through this way and these guys can just scoot there and kind of give us an idea of how much space we got. Which is not a lot. Come on, yeah, bud. Okay, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it, because this can just go underneath, right down there, scooting, and I'm pretty sure we can get over this belt too. Okay. <laughs> a little tight, but it works out. Good, and we can just do the same for the other setup over here. Cool. Belt works out. Let's get her done. And now we can start it up. But yeah, all we have to do now is connect up the oil to the line and see what explodes or goes wrong or backs up. Probably all of the above. Let's see. So here comes the oil. The oil goes in the beginning and then out pops the acid. All right, there we go. Got our first little butter sticks moving and grooving, cool. And you know, hopefully, I built so much, we're never gonna have an issue with the fuel. As this is running, I think we have so much capacity in all of these chemical plants that all the oil should always be used up. It's gonna take some time to monitor though, to see if that's actually the case. And also, worst case scenario in the future, if this does back up, there is a Mark III belt, and we can just upgrade it, and that would solve all of our problems. For now though, I really just have to watch this for a bit to see if anything happens, and while I do that, we should load in some extra stone and water into the back of these machines. We have effectively infinite stone and water, so the only bottleneck should always just be the fuel. Okay, good news! Literally every single part is working perfectly. No problems at all. We have overcapacity with all of the chemical plants, which is great. Hydrogen's being burnt off, and this, this is just a great design. Meaning it's time to get into the crazy stuff. Building an entire new factory. Because now what we're gonna do is plan for the future. We're probably gonna need a lot of this high strength titanium, and today we are gonna get the interplanetary systems. So we're gonna have titanium on world. So I wanna have a new factory that's based around using oil products and titanium. Because this uses both of those. There's another thing down here that uses both of those. Again, oh yeah, the graphene there. Let me guess, this uses both as well? Pretty much, yeah, titanium and the graphene. Purple things probably do too, right? Yep, graphene. So yeah, graphene's gonna be used for everything. And we're probably gonna make machines out of that too. So we're gonna bring it all back 
near where our main factory is right now, over here. And our new factory is gonna be right next door in this space. We'll kinda do the same kind of design, except we'll have another logistics area right in between here, where all the belts can move and groove. And we'll bring in new belts over here and all the machines in this space. And this will give us plenty of room to expand and also <laughs> start a new spaghetti line. Cause this one already is getting pretty rough. Okay though, it's all paved. Huge new chunk of the planet. We got the resources we need, the crystals, the spicy lemonade, and the graphite. So we should be good to go. We had this little oil node in the middle too. So we're gonna use that as kind of like a marker. Up here will be like a logistics area to split belts and then beneath here, we'll start making machines. Specifically some constructors so we can get the graphene rocking and rolling. We're probably gonna, dude, no, I know. I know we're gonna need an insane amount of graphene. Like, dude, it's gonna be wild. So we'll just build a couple constructors. Hopefully we can fit a belt through here. Good for the output. And then for the input, it's just the two things from over here, the graphite and the acid. And this system is pretty much done. Do 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 Why isn't it here? Where's the graphene? Oh no! It's just a chemical facility. Oh that's just wonderful. Alright, well didn't really want to have chemical plants over here, but it is what it is. And it is not too bad! Yeah, it's just two items, so boom! Whole thing's done. Graphene a get. And we're kinda smooth sailing at this point. Because the next couple recipes are gonna be this particle container, which just takes some graphene, which we just have now. A little bit of copper, which I just brought over. And then it's going to need the green motor things. These guys, electromagnetic turbines. And we have those literally next door, right over there. And please tell me if these are in constructors, right? Right? Assemblers, constructors, assemblers, same diff. So quickly automated that. We got a full box of them now, brother. Copper's going in, and it seems we have a small problem. It's the green motors over here. Our production is very slow. So we might have to do something about that. In fact, we'll probably just double all of this production. Once we get like other planets worth of resources, it'll be super easy, so. Not actually a big issue. Main thing again is getting the interplanetary stuff going. And the first step of doing interplanetary stuff is doing planetary stuff. So I unlocked the planetary logistic systems. We have the tower now and the drones. So they look pretty cool. Uh, we'll just make like five of them for now for testing purposes. And then we need the tower, the great tower, the logistic station, which is very expensive. But we can make two, which is awesome. I assume that the logistic spots just ferry items between one tower and the other, and that's it. <laughs> and hopefully the UI stuff is simple enough for me to understand. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Dude, we're gonna cover planets in these. Oh bud, and you know what? Dude, I left the perfect amount of space for one of those. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude. With this, no more gift wrapping the planet in belts. We'll have drones. Finally. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna make our lives so much easier. Okay, let's check it out here. Shuck her down. Boop it. Logistics station. You have taken the first step to establish the Interplanetary Logistics Transportation Network. Provided the place of logistics station of the raw material is set to supply, the logistic drones will transport cargo to elsewhere with a demand on the planet automatically. All right, Never all right, all right, all right, all right. That's all I really need to hear. You set one to supply and one to demand. Okay, maybe I should have listened more. This can only handle three items? Well, let's just say copper, for example. Oh, oh, this is as easy as I expected. Okay, supply. Well, this is gonna demand, since this is the factory. We'd have the supply tower near the node. Gotcha. And then to get the items out, just put a belt beside. Let's just do this as a quick test. And 
No, no sworders? Oh, we're going straight up for belts, aren't we? Ah, uh, yeah, okie doke. That works with me. And now we just have to bring copper over. And I think we're gonna get it from our old base area. This area, we're gonna start to clean up now that we have uh, quite a bit of a base established. And these drones will help us bring everything over. So we'll put the giant tower right there. And I suppose we can just start by bringing some of the excess, oh, wow, excess copper right over this way. Oh yeah, we're only using it for that. Okie dokie, why not? There we go. You start a scooting. There we go. And then power. Oh yeah, power. Oh, why is our power grid all yellow? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, I don't want to look at that. Okay, let's just deal with this first. Hopefully it just works, yes. Yeah, it's supply. Where are my robots? Right there. And, dude! Easy! Oh, and the robots are colored based on what they're carrying. I love it. <laughs> they're huge, too. They're, like, as big as my mech. And they're so slow. Well, I guess we can upgrade them in the future, right? Of course we can. We must be able to. Anyway, that is the easiest thing in the world to set up. Hindsight being 2020, I kind of wish I set that up sooner. But here we are. <laughs> what are you going to do? Come, my friends. Deliver me from my inefficient ways. So what does it do? Does it dock? Are they literally going in? They're going into the tower. All right. Oh, and then when they're empty, they're just plain uh, gray. Cool. And now where's our stuff? Stuff? Hello? Oh, there's a filter. Oh, that makes sense. There's three items that come out of here. So boom, copper. And the system's done. It's literally that easy. Oh my gosh. I bet the interplanetary stuff is that easy too. Whoa, ho, ho. that'll be a dream. Speaking of, that's the next goal. So interplanetary logistic systems. What the spicy tower. Oh, that requires one of the small towers to make it. Yikes. That high strength titanium alloy we need. Oh yeah, bud. Gotcha, gotcha. But the main thing, the yellow science, these guys, we need to get them. And to craft the actual cubes, we need diamonds and those other things that we're making earlier. Well, fortunately for us, I've been stocking up on those diamonds for a long time. So we're gonna be set there. And in between the boops and the cuts and the work, how many of these did we end up with? Ah, uh, you know, a fair chunk. Hopefully that'll be enough yellow science to get us what we want. And man, this is gonna be so weird, but this is probably our last temporary setup. This is it. The last thing we have to hand deliver, the last little inefficient get her done kind of project. This is it. Yellow science. So we're gonna stack a ton of labs here, get everything going as quick as possible, and then just start unlocking everything. And there we go, another huge milestone. Alrighty, meaning it's time to get into the good stuff. I'd say once we get interplanetary stuff going, we're really in the mid game here. Oh yeah, but we need this too. Okay, so we'll get that. And then we'll go into this. Wait, requires reinforced thruster. What's that? This? Oh, for the transport ships, probably. Yeah, because we have the drones that do the planetary stuff, and then we have these guys that go through the planets. Okay. So while we build up our cubes here, we'll get that online. Should only take a second, but before we do, I super have to see all the colors in the labs. It's gonna be so beautiful with three. I think there are five colors in the game, so dude, it's gonna be like a rainbow party going on. RGB science. Obviously makes our science faster and better, right? Alrighty. What is this going? No power, classic, always something. There we go. Good. Very good. And let's stack a couple more labs up here too. Late game science requires Big ol' labyrinthos. The three stories. Now show me my precious golden cubes. Nice. And chuck them in. 
Oh yeah, bud. Oh, and the colors on the side change too. Cool. They do so many things right in this game, and the science here is definitely one of them. But back to processing. Let's get those bars online. Looking good. Thrusters get. Final tech. Three, two, one. Brother, we've made it. Interstellar logistic systems. Oh man. I've been sitting here for a while preparing for this, so we're gonna produce two of the big towers and a couple of those ships. Now let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Is this pretty much the same tower? Oh yeah, it's a spicy version though for the big boy ships. Boop. Neat. <laughs> I love how our one drone just flies up to it, just like, hey. You have established an interstellar logistics station. Yes, I have, buddy. And guess what? I am pretty sure I know how it works. Uh, let's just bring in the power. And we'll see how things go. How has our power been? Absolute literal nightmare. We are, like, producing half of what we actually need. And look, just the one tower plugging it in. That's the spike it made. That's half of the power we're making in total right now. Oh, no, dude. Okay, power. Definite thing we should be considering. Machines are crying. But do we have our ships? I think we do. Yeah, we got our two. Good. We are gonna set this to, oh, it has a bunch of slots too. Nice. Oh, and this can act as a logistics drone hub as well. Interesting. Anyway, this is gonna be local demand. Remote demand? No, local supply. It'll supply things out. And remote demand. I'm pr yeah, yeah, yeah. It would demand things from other worlds. Cool. Then we hook up a belt to here. And we'll probably just get a box as well. Boop. Filter? Of course. Easily done. And finally, let's throw some ships in this bad boy. Where are the big ones? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They look so cool, man. And they have like little docking stations. I'm loving it. But now we gotta go to the other world. We have to go to our lava world and set up another one of these over there. Problem is, there is no way we have enough power to like power this massive tower over here. But we'll see if it works. Hello, beast. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do to you. This is gonna be brutal. Let's go set up the tower right over here by the one thing we want, the titanium. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I'm so sorry, Power Grid, but it's your last day. Yep. Can we check the power on this planet? <laughs> That's not good, but hopefully it works. Can we see if the ships are moving from Capitelfini? Ooh, woo! We have liftoff. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, our first transport ship. Oh my gosh! So we can see this on our solar system scale here, of ships moving back and forth. Dude, we're gonna have hundreds, if not thousands, of ships. So, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be so cool. Okay, though, eyes on the sky. Where's our ship, dude? Dude, it lands vertically in there? Oh, that's insane. There we go, off it goes. Going back home to the home world. And since we have two ships, yep, the other ship's heading right back out. <laughs> I can't believe they can land like that. Wild. All right, ship, let's go. Follow the leader. Oh God, that boy's fast. Brother, where are you going? Hello? It's like deep space. What? 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 Oh, no, 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 it was right, it was right. Speedy boy. Are we gonna beat it to the planet? Gonna have to speed on up, brother. A lot. Oh yeah, no way. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ship, you thought you could beat me. So foolish, because now we're pretty much in control of our entire solar system. We'll be able to set another ship going to Capodelfini 4, 
we can set up huge factories on Capadelphini 1, and we can just scale out of control now. <laughs> this is where the game gets real fun. However though, that's gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.